Welcome back, everybody. Got a new episode of the Clover Chronicles here. A uh, little different uh, on this episode. So I'm going to be your host today. Uh, we got Jeff Gardner, our PA announcer. We got Doug Page, who is our guest on today's episode, going to be our broadcaster. And then, of course, Tyler Loveden uh, in charge of our creative content. So uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to get on this. Some awesome backgrounds here. You know, an awesome group of guys who who really just led the team and organization from a whole so uh you know without any further ado we'll, we'll kind of get started with you jeff touch on a little bit of your background and you know your, your excitement in the in the game of baseball well first off thanks for having me guys i mean you, you know I, i'm in a star-studded lineup here so uh you know i feel honored just to be here but uh a, a, again far as pa I, I started probably 15 years ago at, at the high school level our local high school was just starting up brand new and uh, again, they're always looking for, uh, for help. And they just said, Hey, would you, how, how would you like to announce for, I forgot, I think it was basketball. I started, I don't even remember. And it just, I went, yeah, okay, I can do that. And it just kind of took off from there and, you know, different teams, different colleges and universities and different places would give me a ring. It kind of, the word got out and, and, and so, you know, just started growing from there. And again, I love, sports like no other and music and so it it allows me to kind of combine the two I, I get, my mama always told me my mouth was either going to get me in jail or make me some money so i'm still kind of in the middle here a little bit i don't know which one it's headed to but um uh, so anyway uh, i just love it i love it and you know you guys you know you know, lewis you you know we we spoke a year or so ago and talked about the team and, and I mean, I was all in, so it's just been an honor and a privilege just to represent this club. And, and, and again, I do my small part, you know, again, I, I'm just a small part of it, but I enjoy it. I love it. You know, I work for, you know, many different and, but again, Clover's talking to my wife, uh, you know, just, just today, as a matter of fact, and talking about the different places and I've been kind of all over. And what happens is now that it's starting to, uh, come down to the ones that really, really matter. And this is, this is definitely top of the heat for me. So proud to be here, proud to, you know, to run my mouth and, and talk sports and, you know, just appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. I appreciate you saying that Jeff, a lot of experience, you know, in minor league baseball and other coast to plain league and lots of summer ball, man. So, you know, I, I really appreciate you saying that. I know you mean it. So. Sure. Appreciate it. Good. Um, Touch a little bit on your background, man. I know we don't have all the time in the world for this. <laughs> you and Jeff really got the extensive resume, but touch a little bit on your history here. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about the other day. Uh, I got into broadcasting baseball in 2008, uh, my freshman year of college. I uh, worked with my local team here in New York. Uh, we had a, a team in the Perfect Game Collegiate Baseball League, and uh, that was how I got started. Threw in a headset, really didn't know what I was doing, but knew that I loved baseball. And uh, now we're here in 2023, and still doing it um just do it during the summers and mainly just do it because i love it obviously started out the hopes were to be a fenway one day you know broadcasting for the red Sox, but uh that probably is not going to happen but um yeah i mean i just anymore i just love to do it uh, there's definitely been opportunities that i've passed up along the way to maybe kind of go to that next level or take the step up you know i did take a little bit of a dabble in working in minor league baseball and um just it wasn't wasn't for me um i really liked the overall layout of college summer baseball and also working in college athletics, you know, working in sports information. Um, it's just for me getting to see those players continue and what they do in college through their careers. And I've been fortunate to work with teams where guys have made it to the pros, played in the pros and to reach out to them and say, Hey, you know, I remember you and you couldn't really hit the strike zone, you know, mm -hmm. 10 years ago. Um, so it's, it's just been a cool experience. And uh, yeah, I've worked in the coastal plain league, Perfect Game League, New York Collegiate Baseball League, um, obviously Carolina Collegiate League, um, you know, now going into the North State League. So it's been a crazy ride, but I've loved every minute of it. I um, love being able to connect with parents and and players uh, and communities and different owners that I've been with. And obviously, you know, meeting you, Lewis, and, uh, and Wilson when we were the Tobs and um, experiencing that summer, almost went to the championship there and um, finally culminating, you know, with winning the championship last year. And uh, it's just been a great, great ride and just do because I love it. Uh, I'd like to think that I'm somewhat decent at, at what I do. I know I'm not the best, but uh, yeah, it's it's been fun. And um, getting those connections that you make and you build, those are definitely the ones that, that last a lifetime and kind of the reason why I want to keep doing it. Yeah. No and, doubt, I, and I will say uh, uh, I will differ with you being not the best. 
<laughs> certainly the best yeah. I've ever worked with. And I've again no. been around the been around the block a time or two. And and Doug, you are the best, my friend. Appreciate that. No, no doubt, Doug's the goat. Everyone says it. The players know it. Um, but you're right, man. You know, started back in Wilson. I uh, got to work with you in the Coastal Plain League, got to work with you in the Carolina Virginia League, got to work with you in the Carolina Collegiate League. Yeah, that's right. The playoffs. Um, that was boy, that was a crazy three days. <laughs> here we here we are, dude. You know, four <laughs> leagues later. So still yeah. doing. But I appreciate you very much, Doug. More than you know, man. But um, Tyler, a little bit real quick on your background. Uh yeah, for sure. So um unlike the two that I've got working with me, thankfully I do have them working with me. Um they are seasoned vets and this was my first year in summer baseball. My nine to five is email marketing, and that's what I've been good at. That's what I know, that's what pays my bills and what's been fun. But like Jeff, I love sports, man. And I grew up in Clayton. I'm from Clayton, my parents' house. It is maybe 10 minutes away from the field, man. I grew up playing Clayton Civitan baseball. And when I saw that there was something like this come to town, I, I called Caleb and I called Lou and I was like, if y'all need me for literally anything, I'm game. If you need me to take pictures, if you need me to take videos, if you need me to do sound clips, if you want me to you know, dabble in email marketing, sports marketing, the Twitter, social media, anything like that, man, I'm completely down. So being that it is my you know, nine to five. And it is my job. I also really do enjoy marketing and even more so I enjoy sports and I love it. And it's so much fun. And to be able to come along for the ride and learn from not only Doug, not only Jeff, but also, you know, Lou and, and Caleb and all the guys, it's been such a, a ton of fun, such a ton of fun. And um, like you said, the championship that helps too, you know, being able to say that we walked away with the trophy, um, what a better way for me to start my summer baseball, you know, college career than to say that at our first season, I got to work with two of the greatest of all time to do what they do on a team that won the championship. So this is a lot of fun for me. I'm from the area. It's what I do. And I was absolutely excited to jump on this kind of train. Yeah, man. It was an honor working with you, man. And I'm, I would say, yeah, it was a pleasure. Seriously, Thanks, you you are not you are not a rookie. You are a <laughs> seasoned veteran, my friend. The man yeah. that provided the content for Clover Clips. I would not have been able to put together Clover Clips if it had not been for those behind the scenes footage during the game. I just I just press I mean I just press the record button. Doug. You're the one that puts it all <laughs> together, and Jeff, you're the one that's with the crowd every day. That's getting all the music, getting all the stuff. That's getting everybody involved. I literally just am quietly in the corner, just like, like, <laughs> good job, guys. <laughs> nah, you guys all sell yourself way too short, man. I, you know, as me and Caleb have told you guys numerous, numerous times, man. I, I probably said it four hundred times last summer, and it, it's, it's not just the saying. Like, you guys are the glue. Um, like you three guys, just, just did so much for the organization in year one. We'll continue to do so much for the organization in year two. Um, can't thank you enough. You know, like your background speak for yourself, you know, obviously very well versed. So uh, I know Tyler, you just touched on it a little bit. So Jeff and Doug real quick, short story, you know, how did you find the Clovers or I guess, how did we find you? Um, I, Again, uh, Landry, you know, again, Landry, the coach, Landry Moore, again, I, I pretty much called his uh, high school and college career uh, at Cleveland high school. That was, you know, where he went to high school. He went to, Barton, I announced there. He went to uh, Campbell. I did some tournament games with them. Didn't announce for them, but I announced uh, when they were in the tournament. And so I've followed Landry my whole life. I know his family. Um, so I think he was the one that actually, you know, dropped my name to to you and or uh, um, uh, the well, the rest of the crew. And so I think, I, you know, again, I think you you reached out and just the rest is history. I mean, I, it was like, no, I'm there, bro. I'm there, <laughs> you know. So uh you know, when I heard about it, and I'll be honest with you, I had not heard about it until you called. And then I did a little research and all. And, and again, knowing that it's Clayton, knowing that it is home, knowing that, you know, that it is a community, you know, effort, um, you know, I'm all in. I mean, that's, you know, let me back up just a little bit, too. Again, back to why I kind of was announcing. I came from a very, very, very small high school in Moore County. We didn't have any. We didn't. I, mean, I played sports, football, basketball, baseball. I played them. But we didn't have anything. And so to have a line, have my name called, that would have been like I was in heaven. We didn't have anything like that. So, 
you know, to be able to call, you know, somebody's name, to do a, a starting lineup, to call a home run play, you can see it on their face. I, I get as much, you know, from it as they do, but I know that they love that. The parents love that. The fans love that. So just to be able to do it and be there, it's just so, you know, you know when you called me, I said, sign me up, brother. Sign me up. Dude, you're not lying. It's the easiest sales job I've had with the Clovers. I, I, got, I got ready to talk about the, you know, advantages of what we're going to be doing. And he's like, nah, dude, I'm in. Landry's in. I'm in. I'm in. I mean, that's awesome. You know, I, you know, I, like by the end of the summer, you heard guys in the dugout yelling, Davey Morgan, you know, and everyone, everyone had their best Jeff impression. So, you know, you're spot on with that one. Um, but to pass it over to you, Doug, you know, same thing. You know, how did we find you? How did you find us? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, with, Working in Wilson, we'd always had kept in touch after after that summer. Um, but yeah, mainly it was just one of those things I had never really had in my time working in college summer ball. I never had an opportunity to be a part of something new, um, you know, something that was going to be a startup right from the scratch. And obviously, I've been around some very good organizations. I've been around some organizations that haven't worked out, you know, the greatest. And I, from my perspective, being in media relations and whatnot, I know how hard it is to not only run a team but to start one up from scratch. So. I figured if I could be a part of that um, and just kind of help and get to know a new community and obviously feeling comfortable knowing you and Caleb and knowing Jeff, never thought that, you know, after I left Barton, I would probably ever have a chance to see Jeff again or work with Jeff. And uh, it's, as I tell people, sports are a small world. Once you get entwined in them and you find out it's a very small world. So um, it was awesome. That was a bonus for me to be able to see Jeff and, and sit next to Jeff and share that table during the Carolina summers with him. Uh, went through a few rainstorms together, but um, yeah, I mean, that's been, that really, you, you guys found me. I mean, I wasn't, obviously wasn't really seeking anything out, kind of wasn't, didn't have anything set in stone of what I was going to do. I just, you know, been in Greenville and won a championship, uh, you know, in, in Greenville in the Appalachian league and kind of was looking for that next thing to do. And uh, Caleb and Luke came calling along with a little proposal. And uh, I don't think I even took maybe a day or two to get back to him. Probably, probably actually took too long to get back to him, but um, yeah, that's that's kind of how it fell in place. Well, I will say, I will say, Doug uh, Lewis. You know, he said, "Well, I, it was a it was an easy sale pitch." Well, the easiest part was when he said, "And guess who our broadcaster is?" <laughs> and I went, "I'm in." That's that's it. I mean, it was like I get the opportunity to sit with, work with him again. No, in. Where do I start? Where do I yeah. sign up? It was so, the same way. Lou asked me, Lou and Caleb something, thing, and they said, "Yeah, we're trying to get this PA guy. Does the name Jeff Garner sound familiar?" And I said. Does it sound familiar? I said, that's a name I can't forget. I said, that man was the life of Barton after we brought him in. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm getting major Dale and Brennan vibes right now. So, <laughs> you know, obviously we know you guys are best friends. And I know you've already touched on it, Tyler. So I'm going to do a little skip on you here and kind of get to the closing point for us. You know, um, real quick, i uh, going to kind of touch on, you know, maybe your favorite player from the 2022 season, somebody you guys formed a bond with. Um, and then close us out with your most memorable moment here. You know, we only got a couple minutes left. So you guys take us out. Tyler, go ahead and rock out first. Uh, favorite player is such a loaded question because being the guy that was behind the dugout, I really got a connection with a lot of these guys and I see them and we still talk on social media and all that stuff. But um, a guy that stood out to me all season long was just like you were talking about Davey Morgan. The guy was efficient. He was collected. He was, knew what he was doing and his baseball IQ level is off the charts. So um, a guy that always came through that everybody, you know, was like, Oh, you know, it's Davey. There was nobody that doesn't like Davey Morgan. So i um, super excited about that. And the most memorable moment is, is that last game, the championship, the rain, because of course it had to rain and pour down on that last game. Of course there had to be all this stuff involved. So that was such a fun time because we have that picture together of everybody soaking wet, but mm -hmm. everybody is so happy and smiling. You would have thought that it was a bright, sunny 75 day because of how happy we were. Cause that's how it felt. So that's, that's my favorite moment. That's my favorite thing about the Clovers. Yeah, no doubt, dude. Quick Testament to the shirt too. It comes from Landry Landry's favorite saying, you know, it's, it's always sunny in 75. <laughs> so it's funny it's funny you mentioned that um you know but the same thing doug favorite player and uh your most memorable moment from the 2022 season that that's always a tough question for the broadcaster because obviously my job is to try to get to know and talk about each of them and obviously there were so many great talents um but definitely some of the guys i feel like i bonded with uh peter maldonado uh, 
love love Pete. Uh, had he was the one we actually when we experimented trying to broadcast and talk with the guys live during game. Uh, and he got yelled at, you know, by the home plate umpire, and he was kind of the pioneer for us and putting the microphone on and talking through a phone. But uh, you know, got to really talk with him a lot. Uh, Wit Branham, I don't think I'll ever forget Wit uh, Branham Diesel. Uh, that definitely caught on as the season. Went along. Some guys that came along way, Garrett Browder, um, just a super human being, uh, nicest kid ever. Um, also, uh, Julian Arrow. I mean, he was one, too, that was just a ball of life. Uh, obviously, he showed his talents on the mound. Um, so, you know, that was uh, that was big. But um, those were some of the, the players, but obviously memorable moments for me. I know the championship, that could be cliche. But honestly, think, I think back early on for me, I think it was first responder night. Uh, we just had so many people at the ballpark and we had, you know, EMS there and the police and kids running around and they were showing off, you know, the ambits and stuff. And uh, Clover Clyde was there and uh, it was just that was a great night. There were so many people there. Our little area was packed. Uh, it was loud. And um, that so to me, that night stands out that first responder night when that was kind of OK, like we got a lot of people here like they're they're investing this. This is a thing for the community. So that's definitely was one that stands up there with me. No doubt, man. No doubt, Jeff. What you got? Um, again, I, I can't. I can't deny any of any anything everyone anyone said tonight. Those guys are awesome. Uh, a couple guys that stand out for me, and and for a couple of reasons. Uh, again, Maldonado for sure. Maldonado is always, you know, w- wanting to talk and 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 get the inside stuff. And you know, he was always, you know, just a great great guy. Uh, uh Braden Davidson, Big Papa. I mean, you know, that's where I come from is, you know, finding the right walk up and that really matches the person. And you can see that they really dig it and, you know, they love to hear it. And that that's one, you know, that sticks out to me because I could see us every time we'd come up, you know, he would try to kill the smile, but that smile would come out every time. So those kind of things, though, those would warm my heart a little bit, knowing that, you know, these guys are digging this kind of thing. But if I had to pick one, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little bit away, off the thing. It goes back to Landry. I have seen Landry go from ninth grade to this, and so to see him progress, to see him grow, to see him go from a just a little snotty nosed kid, and he knows I mean that affectionately, <laughs> to a man that he is today in this sport is just heartwarming, and so. Seeing him on the field, seeing him do his thing, that would that always touched me. So, and that goes back to some of my favorite moments and all is seeing him out there and seeing him do his thing. And but I got to give you one quick funny story. Me and Doug, I got to go there. Doug, I'll throw you under the bus here. Okay. One of the ball games, I won't say who. One of the ball games again. Doug, Doug is so professional. He is so professional. I'm not. I got a big mouth and I get it in trouble sometimes. <laughs> Doug is so professional. Where are you getting me? Pick- it's okay. <laughs> This particular team and player kind of got under his skin a little bit and struck out, and Doug goes, the dugout's that way. And so I will never forget that for as long as I live. So that was my funny <laughs> moment that I remember. I was la- I could not even talk through the mic. I was laughing so hard. And Doug's good for a haymaker. It's silent <laughs> well, I'm good for usually one or two and, you know, uh, throughout a season. The silent assassin, man, won't have much to say, but when he does, you better, you better listen up. So you got it. you're right. I mean, all those are good. And you took my thunder. I wanted to make sure I answered this question. And, you know, favorite player from last season for me was going to be Landry and Chris Power. You know, mm-hmm. Landry, the ultimate competitor, um, had a chance to coach him in college summer baseball a few years ago. You won't meet another gamer like Landry Moore. Mm-hmm. He shows in his coaching just... style as well. Um, and Chris Power, I got to throw him out there. I got a chance to, to drill Chris Power um, in his first collegiate at bat when he was a freshman at Methodist. So, you know, it sticks out for me of never forgetting that one. But, you know, I really appreciate your guys' time. Um, You know, I really appreciate all you do for the Clovers organization. Really can't harp on you guys enough. I've said it already this episode. I'm sure I'll say it again before the end of the summer. But you guys are the glue. Um, So, you know, without you guys, there, there would be no success the Clovers had in year one. So, Really, really, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you guys. Um, and that's a wrap. End of this episode and the end of my hosting duties here. You know, Doug's going to be back on it for next week. We're going to have a great episode. So stay tuned on the Clover Chronicles. Uh, we really appreciate you guys, Clover Nation.
Go Clovers. Go Clovers. Oh, no. That away. That away. Yeah, that way. <laughs>